Well, it all looks a little bit dangerous right at the moment. And remember, Daly Thompson's still got more business to do because there's the 400 metres, the fifth of the five disciplines in the decathlon today. That's all been pushed back because they've been going on and on in the high jump uh, part of it there, as you saw. Now, the 3,000 metre steeplechase heats were a bit accident prone just now, to say the least. Uh, so it turned out was the final of that very event four years ago in the World Championships in Helsinki. Cast your minds back now and you will hear the voice um, in due course of this man who was with us then as well. David Coleman first, though. Well, that uh, was a 66-second lap. And I'm not quite sure whether we can pick up David Moorcroft now from London. But, David, if you can hear us... Yeah, sure. I think, well, Colin Reitz is running, doing everything right. That's the position he's got to be in, to stay out of trouble. And, as you say, Ek Eklom is doing what he knows best, and that's trying to get inspiration from the crowd. I can't help wondering with Marsh, I mean, as Brendan said, every single time he goes straight to the back, and almost every single time, at the end of the race, he comes through and wins it. Surely this is the occasion when it's all going to go wrong for him, but you know, maybe, maybe we'll be the ones with egg on our face at the end. Yes, uh, but he don't need really to be off the pace that much, has he? No, he hasn't. I mean, he's a good technician anyway, so he's only making it harder for himself, and I think he's just got it in his mind, almost the same as Mary Decker goes to the front. He's determined, come what may, to be at the back. But... I reckon in Ilg, because he hasn't raced Ilg, as far as I know, I don't think he's ever raced Ilg, certainly not in a championship. I mean, that bloke, you've got something different, I think. And that's the guy, I think, that will, um, that will make Marsh worry today. Actually, he was eighth behind Ilg in the European Championships last year. But uh, now the race with two and a half laps to go. Ekblom and Colin Reese are absolutely together. And the pace is very, very fast indeed. Still on schedule for 8.13, 8.14. I think this is a new Colin Reitz. He's, he's, he's not at all scared like he was last time. They're all punching up now because Ekblom is running out of steam and he's slowing down. Into the middle of the pack has moved Marsh and we watched his tactics. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to watch Colin Reitz run like this. And the other British boys are poising nicely. They're, they're moving with two laps to go and it's all going to be de dealt with in the last lap and a half. Just keep in a good position there, Colin, and we might be cheering something for you. But suddenly the pace seems to have slowed. Ekblom thinks he's done enough work in front, but nobody else is going to take it on. Colin Reitz keeping wide to keep clear of trouble. Cora, a Commonwealth champion, goes up on the outside of Ild. A very tough pole in the red shorts. Maminski, very experienced athlete. And Scardazzini now, the bearded Italian, going through on the outside. A lap and a half left. The Finn and Colin Reitz shoulder to shoulder. And Graham Fell beginning to come through. Graham Fell making a swift move from the back on the outside. And Ilg attacks at the water jump. Comes wide. Some bumping. And Henry Marsh is slowly getting into the race. Oh, some real bumping there. It was Hackney and Marsh who clashed. And Hackney's got furious about that. And bumped uh, Colin Reeves on the way through. And hammering his way through on the inside. Well, now the battle. Scott Azzini leads. Hill gets second place, Henry Marsh is third, and both these athletes have tremendous sprint finishes. Baminski goes up on the outside, he knows the danger, he's got to make it hard all the way. Hill pushes his way around, Hill leads. Second place, Baminski, third is Carter City, and now Henry Marsh beginning his move, and Colin Reitz is going through into fourth place. Hill, the European champion, striking for home. Minsky in second place, Marsh is third, and Colin Reitz there with a medal jumps in fourth place. The water jump for the last time. And this time Marsh spins up on the outside to take second place. And has he got that famous finish left? Hill too could sprint, and the European champion has a two-yard lead, and Marsh hits the ground and pays for laying off the pace. Hill comes home to win and take the World Championship. In second place is Baminski. Reach a Great Britain raise the bronze. Then Mamou, Roger Hackney, Cora and Graham Fell. 8.15.02, the winning time. Well, some memories there of Helsinki. Now, if you